Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to make a video uh, about the importance of some things uh, like AppSync uh, when you install install us uh, to get your free apps to try out before you buy. Um, now the Hackulous team is no longer supporting install us, so uh, I had some questions and comments on my um, YouTube videos about this subject. Uh, can we re now remove install us? And yes, you can. Uh, but don't remove AppSync. Uh, you'll find AppSync in Cydia. And AppSync works by um, tricking your iPhone to think that the app belongs to you. Uh, you could still use the apps that you down use, you know, that you got when you downloaded them from install us uh, by keeping AppSync right where it is. Now, another thing to consider is you might want to also back up your install us uh, just in case uh, Haculos uh, doesn't support it anymore uh, and they, in the future uh, iOS versions they may you know turn around and say we're not putting apps uh, app sync in the uh, city store anymore so here I have a bunch of sources that have app sync uh, for iOS 5.0 plus and uh, you might want to back it up so let me show you what happens when you install an app or a tweak. Um, you pretty much go into the uh, repository or the source and what happens is you find the app you want and what it does is it's going to install this app, particular app, uh, in these two folders. Uh, the, what it is is var, library, mobile, substream, uh, dynamic libraries and then there's these two files here um, that are important. You might want to back these two files up. Then also it's in u var, user, bin, and patch sync. And those are what make it possible for app sync or for you to install these um, cracked apps and for the iPhone not to, you know, kick reject them in iTunes. So uh, I'm going to show you quickly how you can pretty much back them up. So if you go into an iFile program or you can SSH into your device. Uh, pretty much the same thing. If this is the var, the, the, the slash, the forward slash. So you just go into var um, library and then you go into mobile subscreen and then you go to dynamic libraries. Now if you scroll to app ap what you want to save is these two things here app sync dylib and you want to save app sync p list uh, and how you could save it you hit app sync you just pretty much click it and you can drop it into dropbox or you can mail it to yourself um, if you hit edit and like app sync pretty much mail it to yourself it's small enough and then you just mail it to yourself and then you go into the other one and you mail it to yourself and then what you need to do is to go back go back a couple of steps and go into um, our U USR and then go into bin and then you have to go all the way down to P I'm sorry. Go down to bin, and then you're going to go all the way down to P. You have to look for something called patch sync. So you go all oh, scroll, scroll. Go patch. And this is in the user, var user bin. And you look for patch sync, this one here. And you can also mail that to yourself. Okay? Just hit edit, patch sync, and mail it to yourself. Then you just have to remember the layout. Um, and in the future, if app sync is never not available in any of the repos, you can pretty much just make folders called library, substring, uh, mobile scrubs, substring, and dynamic libraries, and just pop those two app sync dy libs and the app sync p list. Um, and then you just make a folder user bin um, and patch sync. You put that regular file in there. And that's pretty much it. And you'll be able to still sync your apps. Um, 
I have a feeling that they're never going to go away. Absinthe will always be in the city of store, but you might want to consider that. Now, uh, this is just the start. Uh, my next couple of videos you might want to subscribe because I'm going to show you alternatives to uh, to install us um, and a lot more in, on this subject. And uh, that's it. So I hope to see you in my next video, and thank you very much.